Hello, my name is Mary and today we're going to be putting an invisible zipper into our fabric. An invisible zipper is different to normal zippers because the teeth have been rolled to the back of the zipper. So when we put it into the garment, it is completely invisible. Here's one I prepared earlier where you can see there's a bright blue zipper in white fabric, but on the front, it looks like a seam in your garment. In order to put an invisible zipper in, you will need a special foot. So we'll be taking off our standard foot. And today we'll be using the clip-on invisible zipper foot, which is in the packet called the concealed zipper foot. There is also on the market another invisible zipper foot which fits all machine makes and models because it comes with a number of different adjustable uh, tops to the foot that you just slide onto the side onto the bone coloured piece so it will fit onto any machine on the market but these ones need to be screwed on at the side. So today we'll use the one that comes with this machine. We click that on and we now have our invisible zipper foot on. The reason we use the concealed zipper foot it has a little groove underneath which enables us to sew along the teeth of the zipper so that on this side we have it sewn in an order not to see the zipper at all. So we take our zipper, we actually undo the zipper and we lay it face down onto our fabric. Pin the zipper onto the fabric Coming back our full seam allowance and now we place that under the machine and you can see if I push with my finger I roll those teeth back and put that little groove over the groove of the zipper and now all we need to do is stitch taking our pins out as we go stitch along the groove of the zipper all the way to the bottom. So we stitch as far as the machine will let us. When we get up to where the, the slider of our zipper is, we just do a little back stitch, take our fabric out, cut our threads, And then turning the fabric over to the right side, just do your zipper up to make sure you haven't caught it anywhere. We now have the first side of our zipper put in and we now need to place it onto the other side of our fabric and then unzip and just do the same on the other side. You then pin this down on the remaining side of your garment. And we'll actually be stitching the seam below the zipper up after we put the zipper in with an invisible zipper. So now we place that under the machine again, under the other side of the grooves that are underneath. Take the pins out as you go. And then stitch right down again to the zip at the bottom. And as before, once your zipper can't go any further, the foot can't go any further, we just stop. Do a little back stitch and take that out again. Trim our threads. Okay, once we've sewn our zipper in, we turn our fabric over and we zip our zipper up. And there we have our invisible zipper placed into our fabric. All we now have left to do is to stitch up this seam, which you can do by turning it over 
and pinning and then stitching the seam at the bottom, normally with your normal zipper foot placed on. We stitch from there to there and back stitch and we have our, in, our invisible zipper all put in.